Hello, it's Aqua Triple Seven. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys some Windows 9 leaked footage. Now, before I get started, all video credits to everything you see in the video um, go to Win Future YouTube channel. It leaked all this information, and um, check out that channel for more possible leaks. Now, today I'm basically compiling all the leaks that have been out so far, and kind of giving you guys a in-depth analysis of them. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna notice the start menu is back. Now below the start menu, you're gonna see we have some new icons on the taskbar. We have a search icon, and it looks like a multi-window one. I'll be talking about that a bit later though. The start uh, menu is a very interesting thing. Uh, first of all, you can see, we looks like we have the ability to switch accounts straight from the start menu. Now next to that, you can also see, we also have the option to shut down the computer, which is a nice thing, because we all know in Windows 8, it was a pain in the butt to uh, shut the computer down. Now, also possible leaked information was that you could have Metro apps running kind of in a window mode, which is confirmed right here. As you can tell, we open the calculator up and can use it in a windowed mode. Now on the side here, you can t basically tell it's basically a Windows 8 start screen port onto the Windows 7 start menu. So we can add, um, remove, change sizes of all the tiles and um, we can pin them around, and it's basically having a small condensed version of the start screen on the start menu. All the resizing options are still available, and it's, like I said, it's pretty much the same thing, but just squished down. Now, unfortunately, that annoying um, snapping mode is still on. You can't um, organize and snap very well whatsoever. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you decide to unpin all of the available tiles. So if you go to where the tiles are and you simply right click them and unpin them all, what's gonna happen is that whole section is actually gonna disappear, which is kind of a nice thing because when you unpin them all, it kind of gives you back to that Windows 7 feel. You still have the Windows 8 look, but at least you can get rid of all the tiles completely, which is a nice thing that Microsoft added. Now, if you go ahead and start pinning stuff back, it will, of course, come back again. Another surprising feature that it's not really a feature, is being able to go back to the start screen from the classic Windows 8. So if you go to the start menu section, you can disable the start menu and instead use the start screen. Now my personal opinion is I think the start screen is gonna be enabled by default and you'll have to switch manually over to the start menu instead, as that's how the, you had to check off the checkbox. Which I, as my personal opinion, I think you're gonna have to check it off um, after you install Windows 9. Now I'll be showing you guys some other stuff besides the start menu. The coolest thing probably of this video, in my opinion, is the ability to have virtual desktops built in. So you can see basically here we have virtual desktops. We can um, open multiple applications and different ones and browse through. Now before I go through that more in detail, um, we, do, we do have a chance to see the new Explorer. Nothing's really changed except for the icons on the side there, which is kind of a disappointment. Back to virtual desktops though. This is a feature that's already in operating systems like Ubuntu and Mac OS X. Basically what it allows you to do is have applications open on kind of different um, screens. So you can have them open on a different one and you switch and they're not there anymore. And then you can go back to that other space and they're there again. It's kind of ability to, to increase multitasking. So that's pretty much it for this video. Last thing we get to see here is the PC settings, which again opens up in that um, windowed mode, which gives us the options to minimize it, maximize it, and exit it easily. So that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now, before you go off commenting, um, like I said, this is probably a leak build, which sorry, it is a leaked build, and so it's probably not the final version, which means there could be some improvements and changes before the final operating system is released. But anyway, I still want to hear you guys' opinions. So I want you, all of you guys to watch this video, go in the comment section below, Write what you dislike, what you like. I really want to read them. Me personally, what I like so far that I see in Windows 9 is the ability to have virtual um, desk spaces. And what I dislike is probably the start menu. I want the start menu back, but that's definitely not really what I wanted. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thumbs up if you want more information as more leaked content comes out. And besides that, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in my next video. It's the Hacker Triple O Seven, and I'm signing off.